West Ham United, uh, they make nine changes in the weekend. Adrian in goal, Sabalata, Diop and Ogbonna in defence alongside Aaron Craswell. Declan Rice will play in the heart of midfield with Pedro Abiang. Yarmolenko, Snodgrass, Lucas Perez and Javier Hernandez are their front four. And we're off and underway on BBC Radio London Sport on digital. And already the referee has awarded a free kick for a rather industrial challenge on Javier Hernandez. Uh, no, he hasn't. He's given it against Hernandez for backing in. Bounces through into the penalty area and a chance on the left-hand side of the six-yard box. Hooked into the danger area. West Ham United haven't cleared it. Has it gone out of play for a corner kick? The referee says absolutely it has. Into the six-yard box. Heads go up. It's part. Seconds on the clock, Piggott's header, Adrian couldn't keep it out, it's AFC Wimbledon 1, West Ham United now. Snodgrass though, fizzes it into the 18-yard box, and Javier he's Hernandez he's a free kick on the edge of the box. a free kick on the edge of the penalty area for a foul on Javier Hernandez. Well, it's uh, just gone uh, a little bit worse for Wimbledon, not only if they've conceded a free kick on the edge of the penalty area, but Rod McDonald has been sent off for his second yellow card. So the first was the foul on Robert Snodgrass, and he's clipped Javier Hernandez on the edge of the penalty area as he was breaking into that 18-yard box, and he has been sent off as a consequence. Two yellow cards, Wimbledon leading by a goal to nil, 18 minutes gone, they're down to 10 met. Brought under control by... Zabaleta, now it's a chance for Yarmolenko to cut it back into Javier Hernandez, he's put it wide! Oh, what a chance, he's six or seven yards out and he's put it wide of the goal. 1-0 to Wimbledon, 62 minutes played, it's going to be a long-range drive from Diop! And that's the equaliser for West Ham United, a thunderous drive from 25 yards out and it's a Diop gave Tom King no chance whatsoever, it's Wimbledon 1, West Ham United 1. Yeah, and it's come from an unlikely source, hasn't it, the centre-half Diop, he's so advanced, he's only 30 yards from goal when that ball gets slid across to him, his first touch is excellent, it goes three or four yards and he drives a fierce strike. 64 minutes almost gone, 1-1 on the night, here it comes in towards the six-yard box, it's headed across the crossbar this time. And, well, Diop with his second opportunity to get a goal, this time denied by the woodwork. Here comes the corner kick near post and it's been bundled in! West Ham United lead for the first time tonight and it's Angelo Bono with the strike. The two central defenders for the two goals for West Ham who were pegged back in the first minute of the game, equalising through Issa Diop and a corner kick onto the boot of Angelo Bono who makes it Wimbledon 1, West Ham United 2. West Ham United continue in towards Javier Hernandez, out comes Tom King, Hernandez is run it wide and it's blocked on the goal line and dribbles over the net uh, and it will be a third goal for West Ham United but it was Nightingale who tried to make the block and to be fair Javier Hernandez who tried to make it not scoring, it's uh, West Ham United winning by three goals to one. The referee blows the whistle and brings the game to a conclusion, a game which certainly was a fascinating encounter here at Kings Meadow. Wimbledon taking the lead after just a minute and 20 seconds uh, with Joe Piggott, who then, a little bit later, had to get substituted because McDonald had been sent off for two bookings in that first half. Uh, for Wimbledon. Piggott was the man who was sacrificed and they resisted and resisted for a long, long time until the breakthrough and the equaliser came from Issa Diop's driven effort, which was unstoppable. Tom King couldn't make the block. Then Ogbonna, late on with just five minutes to go of normal time, scored West Ham United's second goal. A third put in by Chikorito right at the end of the game to confirm the result. Wimbledon will take a lot of credit out of this performance. West Ham United, though, will take their spot in the hat for the third round draw. It's finished at Kings Meadow on BBC Radio London. Uh, Wimbledon 1, West Ham United 3.